Power Factory 2023 is now officially released, and I'd like to show you some of the new features in this version. Starting with network analysis, we have continued to expand the range of calculation tools available in Power Factory. Let's look first at a new function that has been added to the distribution network tools. The low voltage load flow calculation function has been developed in order to give a much more realistic view of the state of an LV network. With increasing amounts of embedded renewable generation and new types of electrical consumers, it's important to consider the stochastic behavior of low voltage loads. In Power Factory, this is achieved by using coincidence curves, which can be associated with an LV load type or the LV load itself. The basis of the coincidence curves is that the more customers that are connected to a particular branch of the network, the lower the demand of each becomes statistically. Let us execute the command and look at some of the results. The effect of the coincidence curves can be seen in the calculated flows. These results form a network assessment that will provide meaningful information without overestimating probable loadings. Staying with load flow, but moving to the transmission network, we have introduced a new function to the transmission network tools. The flow decomposition command can be used when evaluating flows between adjacent grids or operational areas. System operators need to determine the extent of transit flows in the network, power that flows from area A to area C, merely passing through area B. and also loop flows which start and end in the same area, so-called unscheduled flows. Results from the flow decomposition command provide an overview of such unscheduled flows and will also identify HVDC and phase shifter cycle flows. This information can be used to determine the transfer capacity available for trading and provide assurance about expected circuit loadings. In a separate development relating to circuit loadings, the thermal rating object has been enhanced. Thermal rating objects can be assigned to branch elements in order to model complex rating schedules such as short-term ratings. It's now possible to include weather-dependent ratings where factors such as ambient temperature are supplied via a meteorological station element. The Power Quality and Harmonic Analysis module offers a number of developments in Power Factory 2023. Both the harmonic load flow and the frequency sweep calculations now offer the possibility to include contingency analysis. With an expanded set of reports and a new option to reload results into memory, the results of the calculations can be examined in detail. And for both the harmonic load flow and the frequency sweep, a command is now provided for the automatic creation of plots. Users working with Modelica models will see that it is now possible to develop such models in a Modelica standard compliant graphical environment. Selecting the model blocks is easy using new DSL macros and Modelica Models Library Browser. And the models themselves support hierarchically structured parameter sets as can be seen on the parameters page of the model. Many of the existing power equipment models have been enhanced in this version to meet the needs of customers with changes to both network elements such as transformers, 
generators and loads, and to secondary equipment such as relays and measurement devices. New models have been introduced too. We now provide a fault current limiter. A static synchronous series compensation model. A duplex reactor. And a PLL phase frequency measurement model. All details can be found in the relevant technical references. And finally, I'd like to show you the new reporting concept in Power Factory 2023, which enables users to generate reports in PDF and many other formats. In the Report command, the reports are selected and can be combined into a single document. There are also options for customizing the report appearance. An inbuilt PDF viewer can be used to look at the reports, or they can be exported. When viewed in Power Factory, the reports contain hyperlinks to the reported elements. Although report templates are already provided for the standard reports, users can choose to modify these themselves, or indeed create new reports from scratch using an advanced report designer. Find out about all this and many other features in the What's New document.